So now we're going to work on the backgrounds for our cartoon. We're going to export our backgrounds from Storyboard Pro and import them into our drawing program. So to export our background, we're going to go up to File, Export, and Layout. And here's where you can select where you want your exports to go. I've created its own background folder. And here's how it's going to name our images. So if you hold your mouse over this input, you'll see little symbols that you could put in. Since we just want one background per scene, I'm just going to do parentheses S so I know what scene it is. And for file format, I'm going to select PNG, but JPEG would work just fine. I'm going to do full size for the export. And since we're working on a background, we want a little bit extra outside the camera view. So I'm going to select expand render area. And that'll give us 10% of an edge on the outside. So if we need to zoom in or adjust our background in any way, we'll be able to do that. And I'm also going to select scale image up to smallest camera frame. So what that means is if there's a zoom out or a big wide pan, what that'll do is it'll export our images to match that camera movement. So a wide pan is going to be a wide image. And I'm also going to select export one image per layer, which is what we want. We just want the background image. And I'm going to select print camera frames so I can see where my camera cuts off. And then for the export range, you can export all, but I'm going to select selected scenes. And you can press the select button over here. Now my 1A scene is actually just a fade in from black, so I don't need that scene. So I'm going to select 1, hold down shift, and select 5. And that'll select everything in between. And I'll press OK. And I'll open the folder after export and click export. And now we have our layouts exported. So you'll see it exported my cat layer as well as any other layers that I might have created like this title layer. We don't need these so I'm gonna hold control and select all of them and press delete. And now we're just left with our background images. So now we can import these into our favorite drawing program and start painting them. And if you want to save it as a flat image, you can just save it as a PNG. But if you want a background with multiple layers that you can edit and animate, you want to make sure to be able to save it as a PSD file or a Photoshop document. Any program that you can save as a Photoshop document will work just fine. Krita is a free Photoshop alternative that can save Photoshop files as well. So when you're using a Photoshop file for Toon Boom, the important thing to know is if you want separate parts of your background to be separated into layers, each one of those layers needs to be in a folder. So I do that at the end by going through and putting each level that I want on its own layer into its own folder. That way when I import it into Toon Boom Harmony, it'll separate each layer according to which folders there are. Another important thing to know is that inside these folders, all of these images must be flattened. If there's multiple images under one group, then it'll import as an image sequence. So this is useful if you, say, have a library of different hands for a character rig that you're doing, then you'll want a different layer for each one of those hands. But in this case, for a background, we want all of these layers to be flattened. So in my program, I'm just going to select all the layers inside this folder and go to Layer, Combine Selected Layer. And I'm going to make sure to do that on every single one of these folders. So now that all my layers are in folders, I'm ready to import this into Toon Boom Harmony.